hello welcome back or if you're new then hi this week's youtube entry was supposed to be the newest episode of behind the brand by Maisie Moss the podcast with um Sarah Robinson however we had some serious technical difficulties going on um last week when we were trying to record and unfortunately we had to just leave it and reschedule and I'm now waiting for another time when Sarah's free but I promise that'll be coming soon. We are in a slightly different filming setup because there is so much work going on at my house at the moment that I can't even hear myself think let alone be in a position to film content so I'm at my friend's house today doing all the content that I need to do. So today's video with the time of year in mind even though the weather in Manchester at the moment is abysmal I thought for today's video I could take you through a little bit more of a lookbook style video on some transitional outfits as we move closer to spring. These are all pieces that I already have in my wardrobe and I've tried to go with quite timeless classic versatile pieces that most people would have that or something similar to um, so that it's outfits that you would be able to build yourself easily without having to invest in too many new products. So yeah that's the focus for today's video. I'm going to talk you through the outfits as we go along and hopefully it gives you some inspiration as we start to see the weather warm up slightly. I didn't want to go full hog spring because I know for most people at the moment it's still very up and down weather wise. I will do another follow up video to this as it warms up a little bit more on some more kind of core spring outfits and I also have a few collaborations coming up with some really cool brands so we'll be back to brand intro videos soon too. These are also all quite casual outfits, don't get me wrong they're very versatile in which you could wear them for date night or for drinks or for whatever you have on but I wanted to make sure that the outfits themselves were versatile not just in terms of weather and warmth um, and ease but also just in terms of you being able to wear them day to night and it again it not mean you needing to invest in new pieces because they're all quite casual and easy to wear for most people dependent obviously to an extent on your preference so let's go ahead this first look is a really great one for anyone who's not super girly you can't go wrong with a suit and this lighter shade of grey is great for really bringing in spring I also think wearing a smaller crop top underneath is perfect for warmer weather and it makes it look a bit sexier of course if you don't feel confident wearing a bralette underneath then a t-shirt is also a great option and I love a western boot for spring as it's dressier than a trainer and not as wintry as a chunky boot I think they just add a really interesting element to a look if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I'm a huge fan of denim and it's the perfect material for a transitional look as it can be worn all year round surprisingly I'm loving these denim maxi skirts and they're a great piece for dressing up and down the slit in the middle of this one from Mo & Co dresses up the whole look a little and I think mixing denim in the spring is the perfect way to elevate your outfit so these denim boots from Bettina Vermillion are a win for me as it's still a little cold I've gone for a light leather jacket on the top but as it's cropped it gives me a little bit of shape back as you can see the waist silhouette and I also love this little crossbody bag from Pangea to tie the whole look together and add a bit of a casual element. I'm actually stepping out of my own comfort zone with this one as these super dry pants are super bright but I've had them for a while and I thought why not bring in some brightness to spring. I actually love orange and it's way more versatile of a colour than people think. I love it with this brown tone leather jacket from Gestos. I think the dressiness of the jacket brings a nice tailored vibe to the casual trousers and basic white tee. With orange being such a bold move, I wanted to echo it through this gorgeous faux suede glint bag to tie the whole look together and match some nice brown sunglasses from Essential Frames to my jacket. Of course, for a comfy look, I went with my New Balance. This is one of my favourite looks and definitely one I'll be recreating. You can definitely still layer in spring and I think this vintage leather waistcoat contrasts beautifully over a soft beige blazer. This one's an old weekday one so I'm not sure I'll be able to link it for you. I've gone with the same black bralette from the first look because I think it's just a great staple under an outfit and doesn't detract from the other pieces in that look. These super dry jeans add a nice comfy and casual element and I wanted to stick to neutral tones with my brown leather bag, brown tone veiler sunnies and cute suede boots from Alva. I was originally unsure about this look but I think it's actually a cool vibe that's a bit different to what I would usually wear. The crop blazer is an old purchase from Motel Rocks and I love the tie detail around the waist. It's a nice light shade for spring and I love the dressy to casual contrast of this with the same super dry jeans as before. 
every now and again I love to tuck trousers into some western boots and these are the same pair from Shoe as earlier. I think I like the fact that this look is a bit uncoordinated so I continued down that thread and went with some silver sporty sunnies from Essential Frames and then went back to tie into the blazer with a cream bag from Glynnit. This final look was filmed back at home but this is my new favourite outfit currently. I'm all for tailoring and a cream suit is literally chef's kiss for spring. This one is new in from Source Unknown and it has so many beautiful details from the cut of the blazer to the exposed waist of the trousers. I wanted this to be more of a put together monochromatic look but couldn't resist the tortoiseshell sunnies. My Annie Bing bag is something that I never take off at the moment and I thought it went perfectly with both the glasses and the light tone of the suit. And finally, as the suit itself is quite dressy, I went with these monochromatic Adidas Originals Forum low top trainers.